some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was sent to me by a subscriber who, well, uh, knows that I am in the education field and uh, thought I might get uh, some interest out of this. And you know what? He's right, uh, considering that this is a bus driver who was caught drinking on the job at 6 o'clock in the morning and, well... Uh, ended up resigning as a result of it, but uh, the outcome of his trial, well, uh, kind of pissed me off. So let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Truly an alcoholic right there if you're going to start drinking a vodka at 6 o'clock in the morning, especially when you have to be going to your job, which is driving around children on a school bus. Man, that is a heavy responsibility right there. And if you had not been caught and something would have happened, oh boy, this would have uh, been a great disaster. But thankfully, you're at least no longer driving school buses. But the trouble is, uh, I hope you're not dealing with any other heavy equipment like a, a bulldozer or anything like that. Something that can do a lot more damage. Hi. Stay in. No, stay in. Hey. Mr. Ferguson? Yeah. I'm Officer Brink with Medina Police Department. Were you able to talk to me for a little bit? Sure. Okay. Um, I had some questions. Okay. Okay. About uh, uh, incident that was brought to our attention with okay. the uh, the bus scratch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before we. Uh, I just want to make sure that you're aware of your rights before we I start talking. Okay. Okay. So. You are so lame. Yeah, I'm sure the parents think that he's pretty damn lame, too, for drinking on the job. In fact, I'm surprised they're not over here right now uh, doing something about it. But at least they're letting the law do something about it, for what it's worth. There was an incident brought to our attention. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming you probably have an idea what I'm talking about. Sure. Um, I think it was the 15th of November. Does that sound familiar? It does. Okay. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that day and what happened, or? Uh, I really don't have anything to say about it. I resigned. Okay. Well, again, the the matter's been passed over to us, so now we have to, you know, do our due diligence in looking okay. into this. All right. Um. I I I know I understand that you you tested positive for alcohol during a random drug test. Correct. Um. When were you drinking that day? After my route. Oh, come on, dude. Quit lying your ass off. You were caught on camera. I mean, that is just plain disgusting, dude. I wouldn't trust you behind the wheel of a taxi cab, let alone a bus. After your route? Mm hmm Weren't you, t you were tested, though, after your route? Yeah, but you, t I mean, I had to go in. Um, you go by Ross or? Yeah. Herb? Okay, Ross. I want to I, I want to make this as easy as possible. Okay. I know this isn't a good situation for you. No. Okay. I understand that. You know you had to resign from your job and now there's all this going on. Okay. The more honest you are with me, the better this can go. 
Well, now, officer, since he's already denied it once, I'm sure he'll deny it other times. Because, well, he probably doesn't think about the damn cameras that are all over these buses these days that can record every freaking move you make. Trust me, dude, I'm around a lot of these buses quite a bit. And I know they're pulling tapes all the time to make sure not just the students are orderly, but the bus drivers, too. So, dude, you really can't get away with anything. Okay. You were at a point 134 when you came off the bus and went inside and we were advised you had to do a test. There really, there wasn't any time between you getting off the bus, going into the office, and being advised that you had to take the test that you would have had anything to drink. Correct? I, I don't know what to say here. Well, I, I just... I, if I admit to something, I mean, you've already got the proof. Right. I mean, so what's going to happen to me? Well, th this is all the prosecutor's office. Mm. Okay? We, we don't have a choice in this matter. I mean, it's they're making fairly big accusations towards you. As they should be doing to begin with. I mean, if the school board found that he was drinking on the job, well, then he's pretty much ruined his career with the entire education system. That's going to follow him around everywhere he goes. So stick a fork in your career with the school board because, well, it's finished. But I just want you... Like I said, you being honest, your honesty in all this will help. If you try to, if you, you know, start, if you deny that you were drinking or you come up with some elaborate story, it's going to get drawn out and turn into much more. Okay. So I'm not asking you to tell me anything fabricated. I would, I, I just, I'm asking for your honesty. Okay. So... I guess my question is because I, they showed us the video from the bus. You understand there's video on the bus, right? Mm -hmm. You're drinking out of the Powerade bottle. Okay. You got an orange Powerade. Mm -hmm. What else was in the orange Powerade? No, there was nothing else in the Powerade. Okay. So did you drink, consume alcohol before you I was up got late to the work? night before, yeah. Okay. How late would you say you're up? Mm -hmm. I don't know, 3 a.m. So, uh, you say you uh, got to bed around 3 a.m., which doesn't give you much time to uh, sleep that crap off. And you had to be at the bus garage at 6 a.m., and that's pretty much just started off. You had to do your pre-route inspection of the bus and everything like that. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you probably wouldn't have been in sound mind enough to see any defects in the pre-route inspection as well, so, yeah, that would be questionable to let a bus go like that. But I'm glad you're no longer working for him. I just wish they would have, uh, done more with you. Okay, were you drinking all night and then... Because you got, you got to work at, like, 6.15ish, right, or so, or... I think yeah. I saw you walk in the door at like 6.13. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. So you were up... How, what were we doing the night before? What was the situation? Just staying up late, watching movie. Okay. Were you drinking then? Yes. What were you drinking? Uh, wine. Okay. How much would you say you had? Quite a bit, or...? I guess so. Okay. When you woke up in the morning and went to work, do you feel like you were capable of operating a yes I should school have bus in, but i didn't feel out of sorts okay do you drink often yes okay would you say daily or yeah probably daily okay let me guess you believe you're one of those functional alcoholics who can do anything even while they're intoxicated you know i knew one of those guys who claimed he was a functional alcoholic and well he proved otherwise considering that he got pulled over quite a bit and ended up back in prison as a result of that so 
He wasn't a very functional one then, was he? And you're probably not either. Here's, here's my only question why, okay? And again, I want you to be honest, okay? I've been doing this for 15 years. When you consume alcohol, your blood alcohol level increases, right? Okay, it steadily goes up. Okay. When you stop drinking, at a certain point, it's going to start decreasing as your body metabolizes the alcohol, okay? So you're going to go up to a certain point, and then it's going to start coming down. Your first test was 134. The test you took 15 minutes later was 138, which obviously tells me it was climbing. Okay. So if you went to bed at 3, while you were sleeping and when you came into work, it should have been declining. Okay. So the, the results of your blood alcohol one, test, your breath test, six, would tell me that seven, you are zero, consuming six, alcohol drive, either on your way to work six, or while you're on the bus. It is really sad to see this dude in such denial. I knew, like I said, I knew a guy who was a total alcoholic, and one morning he was actually sober, and at that point of day, it being 11 a.m., he was surprised that he hadn't had a single drink, and he made the comment, Man, by this point in the day, I've normally had 20 beers. That was just a really sad thing to hear coming from somebody like him. Which makes me wonder, are you the exact same way or on days that you haven't had a drink, you're just craving them like crazy? Here's the deal. You're not going to get in any extra trouble if you tell me and be honest that you were drinking on the bus. What's going to happen to me? Well, you could be looking at a couple different things. Okay. Okay. It's going to be up for the prosecutor's office to decide. Another thing could be a uh, uh, charge of child endangering. Okay. For operating a vehicle under the influence while you had children on the bus. Okay. Okay. Well, at this point, dude, uh, best thing for you to do is get yourself a damn good lawyer. So what happens when I get to the jail? As far as... I've never been in trouble before. Okay, I, um... I mean, we'll get there, there'll be a deputy, he'll check you again and essentially get you booked in the jail. I'm, they'll have like a body scanner that you'll scan through and from there, I likely you'll sit in, there's a booking area for the time being until if they have somewhere more specific for you to go, I would imagine. But, like I said, that's all with the, the sheriff's deputies and this way. Not all too familiar with that process of it. So this sad sack managed to get off on a technicality. What a waste, man. I knew if I were one of those parents, heads would be rolling in this case to find out who screwed up where. Hopefully this guy will never work as a school bus driver again or any kind of capacity in any school district in the country one can only hope though at any rate guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one